Hey, what's up guys? Riley Chase here with Hostify. And in this video, I want to talk about CVE 2021-3156 uh, um, buffer overflow and pseudo, which you can um, use to escalate privileges to root and how this applies to Ubiquiti's cloud key. Uh, I have a cloud key Gen 2 Plus here running the latest version of the firmware currently, which is uh, 2.0.26. And we're gonna, um, in this video, I'm gonna um, test to show you um, uh, whether it's vulnerable or not. It is vulnerable. So um, once we find out that it's vulnerable, I'm gonna show you how to patch it and then test it again to show that it's no longer vulnerable. Um, now, the first thing we wanna do is find out what um, version of Linux this is running, just out of curiosity here. So if we do cat, slash Etsy slash issue, we can see that the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus is running Debian 9 Linux. And um, we're going to go ahead and test if it's vulnerable to this um, this exploit that was uh, in this research here. And so I have um, a post on Twitter. I have a post on Twitter here where um, I talked about how to test for this vulnerability. This is from uh, the research here. And if we do sudo edit s forward slash do that, and the output is sudo edit slash is not a regular file. And if we go back and look here, um, Qualys said in the research there that if uh, the system is vulnerable, it will um, respond with an error that starts with sudo edit. If it's patched, it will respond with an error that starts with with an error that starts with usage. So because this uh, responded with an error error that starts with sudo edit, this is a vulnerable version. And so in order to patch this, um, and also before we patch it, we can just confirm one more time with um, apt get install sudo dash y. This will tell us the current version, which um, it's a uh, 1.8 blah 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 deb 9u2, and that's important because if we come over here and look at the Debian security tracker, you can see um, this version on Debian 9 Linux, which is also called stretch, ending in Deb 9U2 is vulnerable. However, there is a fix, Deb 9U3, which patches this, this uh, vulnerability. In order to apply the patch, what we're gonna do is do apt-get apt -get update-y is going to update the repository information and um, allow us to install the newest version of sudo, which should have the security fix. And then you should do apt-get install sudo-y. This is going to update sudo to um, the fixed version, as you can see right here, deb9u3 is being downloaded and installed. And so now um, we should be uh, safe. And so uh, we can test again with sudo edit dash s forward slash. And now you can see instead of getting the response of um, the vulnerable response, which included uh, the sudo edit in it, which was right here, um, vulnerable response is sudo edit, not a regular file. Now we get the response usage um, and tells you how to use it. So that's how to patch it. I'm not sure if um, they're gonna fix this in a future firmware update. Um, I'll probably do a follow-up video if um, if they do patch it in a future update. Um, but for now, this is how you can manually patch your cloud keys. And you would have to do this on each of the cloud keys. And so um, it's kind of another reason why it would be better if you had a single cloud server to manage all of your devices, because this would just be one place that you do an update instead of having to do it on every single cloud key. If you have any questions about uh, how this how this works or how to patch your cloud key, um, you can reach out to me on Twitter. My username is at underscore rchase underscore. I'm happy to help with any questions you have. And if you'd like to learn more about my business, head over to hostify.net. Uh, we provide cloud hosting for our customers for the Unify and UNMS applications, including updates, backups, SSL installation, renewal, and support. And we're always on top of security updates like this one. I just patched all 1400 of our servers last night. And um, yeah, we if you have a UNFI or UNMS server, we'd be happy to manage it for you. Thanks.